Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be talking about and using one of these universal valve seat reamer or valve seat cutting kits that you can find on Amazon or eBay. At the time of making this video, this thing was about 35 bucks and we're in the process of rebuilding a 1971 Honda Trail 90. And the valve seats on that guy are beat. The valves are about as thin as a pop can. So we're gonna see if one of these kits would be a good alternative to taking that head to a machine shop. Now let's talk a little bit about what comes in the kit. Looks like we've got two sides of rods here, depending on what size of um, your valve guides are. It looks like it comes with a 5.0 millimeter and a 5.5 millimeter rod. That would go down your valve guide. Looks like there's a little threaded guy. This nut goes on, and this appears to be kind of a jam nut. If you get a cutter head stuck on this tapered shaft, it looks like you can use a 19 millimeter wrench to pop that off. Okay, let's talk about our cutter sizes. It looks like we've got a bunch of 58 and 30 degree cutters in varying sizes depending on the size of your valves. These guys look to be 45 degree cutters if you've got an extreme problem and you need to cut your 45 degree angle and some 45 degree grinders to finish off the valve seat after you're done cutting. Well, let's figure out what sizes we need to use on our Honda Trail 90 and see if this thing's gonna work or not. You got a 45 where your valve seats. Okay. Okay, so 45 degree angle there. But the thing is, there's actually three angles for cutting a valve. You've got to have an inside angle. Okay. And an outside angle, so that this valve seats on here. As you go around, this valve seats on there. Gotcha. So when you're lapping, that's <clears throat> like the surface that that yep. sits but the, on, right? But the thing is, you want a real thin contact area here. Mm -hmm. So you want to see shiny up and shiny below. Okay. So you actually want your contact area of your valve probably about here. So if this is too wide, you have to cut the inside and cut the outside down to make this narrower. Okay. So it fits your, fits the valve and hits kind of in the center. Gotcha. So you don't want it riding too high or, or too low on the valve. So what we need is we need to find, for this exhaust valve, we need to find one that is going to cut about in the middle and then find the right mandrel. And this one here I think is going to work on the exhaust valve. And what we need to do, can you get a... So basically you have to get this, there's three different sizes of these guys in here, and you just got to make sure you get the right one for the right valve guide inside. But I don't know if your camera will show it, but how rough this seat is right now. Yeah. It's not real smooth. Well, I looked at that one on um, the exhaust valve, and there's actually, or intake valve, and there's actually a chunk taken out of yeah, it. Yeah, that, that one's pretty bad. And this is about as thick as a pop can right in the lip here. This is, this is beat. So this comes with this, and what you do is you put that on there. Well, here, here's one way we can show the people how to do it. We just... Oh, I gotcha. <laughs> Sharpie. There we can... You can see the, where we cut with the 45 to start off with. But I think if you take one of these electric valve grinders... And you I think all electric valve grinders. And, and barely touch it a few times. Oh, it's looking better already. Now this is still a little bit of a shine spot there yeah. from before. But this is the right cutter because you can see it's cutting in the middle of that stone. It's not. Oh yeah, it's see not. It's yeah, it's dark. Not, it's dark right in the middle yeah, of the stone. It's not running off the edge. Cool. So we'll use this Dewalt valve grinding tool. Get a little bit more, and then when you you'll finish lapping it to get it real fine. Sure. Well, it looks, looks a ton better than it did before. Holy cow. Now, this exhaust might be okay because it's not all that wide. Yeah, it was the intake was the one that was the real, real beat yeah. up one. 
don't know if I can get bluing compound. You usually spread bluing on here and you can see. And you can see then. Um, oh, where it's actually seating? I'm not going to have to cut that one. Looks pretty good. Yeah, I don't think we'll have to cut that one. That intake, I think we're going to have to cut. That intake looks nasty. But, let's take but, a look. Let's, let's lap this one and see what we got. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but yeah, gosh, there's just, I don't think they ever changed oil on this thing. Just lap it in lightly and then we'll see where it's hitting the yeah, compound on it already. Yeah. Okay. You can see where it's contacting. That's just perfect. That's where we want the contact. I want to see. So what am I looking at here? We want to see shiny up, up where we, above where we lapped. And okay, so where we lapped. put the lapping compound right in the middle there. So we got a good it contact. It looks dull and should have shiny on the top in the middle of that all the way around. That's the contact area. Yep. Okay. And if it's real wide, then we know that we've got to cut the other two angles on the valve. Gotcha. What are you doing over there? Lapping valves. What in the heck? <laughs> okay, he's got a piece of Tigon fuel line over the valve and a drill. That's how you lap a valve, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's funny stuff. Good job. Well, we've got a... That looks nice. We've got a nice dull edge or line right in the middle, and you got shiny on the top and bottom. Yep. So that's kind of what you're looking for? Yep. Right All right. There. Well, the exhaust works. Well, I can definitely see by looking at this intake valve why <laughs> why this thing was not running. I mean, that's just amazing how thin that is. One done? Yeah, if you look at it real close, you can see it's nice nice and lapped in. So. Can you see that at home? I don't know. Trust us. I know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> How the valve guides feel? Valve guides are good. I'm surprised. I'm kind of surprised considering how bad that. Oh, we're kind of looking for, looking to see where it's grinding. Looking to see where it's hitting on the stone. Looks like it's hitting. Yeah, it's hitting in the right spot. All right, Take a look. Oh, yeah, right about in the middle there. Put the DeWalt valve grinder on it and we'll grind away. The precision of this off, off sea grinder is just, it, oh. it, it tracks are smooth. Look at that. Oh, that's, that's precisely going like this. Wow, 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 wow. That's high quality stuff. That's high quality. There's a brand on eBay that somebody, uh, there's a lot of videos on. I'll check out how much one of those are for future use. Some Oops. Precision machining going on right here. Not cowboy at all. Wow. That thing Good. is bad. So what are, you, what are you looking at? Just well, how, wide that, how wide that is. So we gotta, we're gonna have to really cut that down. Gotcha. Let's cut the 45 here first, I guess. What are you thinking here? Well, what I'm thinking is this is a 58 degree, so this should cut the outside because that's bigger than the valve. Okay. But we don't want to cut too much. To get back into your 45 that you just cut, right? Yeah. Because the outside of that line, like that other valve, we want the outside of that line about... We'll call it about there. About there, I like that. So that means that cutter should kind of work, maybe. I don't know. This is probably good thing is you. I don't, I don't think you can break this head. You can't break broken, so. Yeah. So we'll try to see. Good one to test on. Let's see what happens here with me. So the little, little carbide blades on here, then I'm assuming. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That... Sounds like it's working. They're pretty sharp cutters. It 
doesn't take much on that aluminum. Oh yeah, you can see where it's cutting. If you look really, really fine down in there, you can kind of see where it's been cut on the outside. Oh yeah, I can see it. I don't know okay. if you guys at home can, but yep, it definitely looks like that did the trick. And we want that to be, oh yeah, that's going to... About a third? Or <laughs> that is getting... So then your valves, you just use the um, the adjustment jam nuts to adjust your valve to the right height and after you cut this? Yep, because okay. this will make your clearance less yeah. on your rocker arm. Okay, so yeah, then you just adjust it down here to get yeah, back to the right spot. You're moving your valve that way. Okay, so that's cool. So you put the Sharpie in here, and I don't know if you can see on the camera, but the Sharpie is still here. The black spot is the original spot. And above here is off. where that carbide cut in the outside angle. Cut the angle. What's that top angle up here then? Maybe 50, about, about 58 degrees on this stone. And then what's on the inside one then? Um, whatever we got in the box. Sounds good. Are you done? 58. We're going to cut the inside. So we need this was the one we used, which is a 58 degree. So now we need, and the, the other one was a 45 degree. Okay. Where the valve seats is 45. 58. 45 on that grinder. So then if we're using a 58, 45, we've got to be less than 45, so I'm going to say 30. So I can't believe the manufacturing tolerances are so perfect on this stuff. How much the whole kit cost? I think it was like about $27 too much. This is a 30 by 30. 23. This is a 26 by 30. That should fit. I like should fit. Yeah, that should fit perfect. Oh yeah, that's it's almost made for that. Okay, what we need to do is we need to ink this up. Sharpie there so you make sure you yeah. yeah. ink this up so we can see what the heck we're doing here before. Yep, I hear before you. I ruin too much stuff. Now we can see the outside of gotcha. where that valve's gonna hit. God stuff is just chunk. Amazing precision. It's actually nice and sharp carbide, though. I'll give them, give them that. Give them credit for that. I'm just not quite sure about this. Now, let's see. And this is a CT9 inch. This is performance precision stuff you're working on. Oh, yeah, this is going to work good. We're probably going to have to get the DeWalt valve grinder on here. Now you can see how it cut the inside valve. The inside angle mm -hmm. and the outside angle, and that black line oh, yeah. is, so what's, the... is what's left. Holy cow, it actually worked. I'll be darned. If it works on the valve, though, is it next? Yeah. Time? So you think you got the inside all ground as much as you wanted? Um, I could probably make it a little bit. If I do, I'm just going to make the contact on here thinner. Okay. And I'm okay with that for a little air cooled gas, hey. gas burner. Thingy. That's that's good enough for you know when Indy Indy 500 calls us to race, we'll get a little a little more precise on some of this stuff. But uh -huh. I think I'm gonna put some sharpie in here, and we'll run the 45 degree stone through and see where we're sitting. Where the face is. Well, that looks really good, actually. <laughs> From my untrained eyes, I, yeah, I can see the Sharpie above and below, and that's right in the middle. Let's see how wide it is here. Oh, yeah, it's width look. Oh, too much width. I, I can see. No, I think width-wise, it looks. Looks yeah, good. Right, pretty close. Lap it and see how it, yeah. how it looks. This is your eBay import quality right here. Give that, give it a heck. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> so, might need, if you're going to be doing this on more expensive uh, equipment, might need to get a little higher quality set than this. So, this stuff actually kind of, kind of does work. So, it kind of does work. It kind of does work. It's just a little, it's not the most accurate thing in the world, but. Uh, for trail, for trail 90. Maybe good enough. We'll find out soon. Well, this thing make a hundred miles a year, so. Ouch. 
through that'll that's gonna outlast these old bones. Alright, pop that in. Yeah, good experiment at least. Instead of having to try to track down another head and have that yeah. thing even worse condition than this guy. And that's why right there. See this this I know it's good right there. And there's no instructions that come with these things either, so you just gotta have to uh watch some ding dong on YouTube uh show you how to use it. Well, uh -huh. let's put the head back together again and finish working on honing that cylinder and put a new piston in it. Maybe a new long duration cam from Dr. ATV and see if we can get this thing running. So this right here is all terrible. We got our uh, gas tank wiring. Got my electric starter. I'm gonna work the room stick, and we're gonna see if we can get this thing run. Hey, uh, you got the uh, fire fire extinguisher nearby? Oh, it's gonna work. <laughs> fire. That kind of scared me. <laughs> Okay, let's try this again. Are you sure you don't want to bolt the, bolt the motor down or something? Uh, something bad's about to happen. Well, look at that! How's it going? So everything seemed to work out great when it was sitting on the bench here. We'll know a little bit more in the upcoming weeks once the snow melts and I can continue working on the Trail 90. We'll get the motor painted up, put back in the frame and see how she runs then. But things are looking very promising right now. But I guess we want to check out the rest of the videos and see if this thing is going to work long term. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because I'll have more detailed videos of this in the future and a little follow up to see how the valve job worked. But that's going to be at a future date. So in the meantime, if you want to check out more Bigfoot Bikes and Brews content, you can click the video on the right, or you can check out last week's video by clicking the video on the left, and I'll see you next time. Uh -huh.